everybody, Mushbeard here, back with some more Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. Today we've got over 40 free-to-play summons for you. The event is still going on. I do not think I'm going to make it. Let me check how close I am before we do these summons. Um, I've almost done the weekly assignment. i still got some energy in the Dragon Mist Isles i got to do. But the summon for your four-star creatures, about nine and a half days left. I'm not even halfway. Um, I'm trying to farm. This will put me over 100. Uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to make it based on time constraint and commitments, but I will give it my best, so hopefully we can get that guaranteed four-star summon on video for you. But we will go ahead and do what we've got here. I've got 28 epic soul stones, I've got 17 more, uh, worth of fragments, and then I've got two large chests. Um, we can do and see what we pop out of those. So let's go ahead and get started. We will start with the fragments and see if we can get anything good. Come on. Lightning on the first one. Kappa. All right. It's a win, Kappa. All right. Let's see. I don't I don't know much about them yet. Uh, attacks all enemies and marks them as hunted, amplifying incoming damage for two turns. That's so like... Then marks all allies as protected, sheltering them. So makes them take more, makes your team take less. So nice. He is a support unit. Then attacks an enemy, increasing their attack damage based on own speed and prevents them from recovering... Any buffs for two turns. Okay, attacks and enemy increasing the attack damage based on own speed. So his damage is based on his speed and prevents them receiving buffs. So beneficial blocker for two turns. All right, and then he's got his normal skill, which we have to look at evolution. All right, so we are we are off to a good start here with lightning on the first one. So if we can keep that lightning rate up, we will be good to go. I'm hoping something good. Uh, Water Stone Guard, I've already got one four star. Ooh, event, so that's for the the one that's got like three days left. Water Harpy, because you have to uh, summon uh, two star creatures for that as well, but that'll give me a couple extra summons for doing that. That will pop at the end. Alright, Air Pixie. I don't know if there's many two stars I'm really after. Uh, I guess an air basilisk would be nice. I don't have one of those yet. Um, I've got earth and I've got water, so. All right, earth mini golem. That's more for the event. All right, earth harpy. Come on, come on. And I have gotten these uh, summons by doing what everyone suggests, which is uh, basically farming the achievements um, from the areas like the killing X amount of creatures, clearing the boards with, you know, only three units, two units, one unit, all that stuff. I still have a lot more to go, but Fire Stink Fly, that's how I've gotten all these uh, summons over the past couple days. So hopefully I can bust through the rest of them and get enough so we can get that guaranteed four star because I do not have one yet. Fire Gargoyle Whelp. Nothing. There we go. There's my air basilisk. All right, I finally got one. So I've got one of those. I will have to keep that. Definitely find some uses. Let's hope for some more lightning. Water nymph, great starter healer. Um, I still use mine on occasion. Nothing. Nothing. All right. There we go. The earth unicorn fowl. I do have one of those already. So. More of the achievement. Another gargoyle whelp. Four more of the fragments, and then we'll go collect the achievements. Oh, lightning, lightning. Here we go. What do we got? Water kappa. All right. So now two of the kappas and the summons here. This one is also a support. Releases old powers, giving an advantage to all your allies over all elements when attacking. So elemental attack is what they give. And when defending. Oh, and defense for two turns. Then refills their bar by and a 20% attack bar increase. Wow. So elemental attack and defense buff, as well as 20% turn bar increase. That's pretty cool. Um, attacks an enemy, increasing the attack damage so based on his own speed. Blinds them for two turns and increases self-attack damage for two turns. So his attack goes up, blinds all enemies for two turns. That's kind of cool. I might have to look into these kappas and see uh, where I can make use of them. 
elemental attack and defense up is really good, especially for um, units that aren't... Uh, like when you're going through dungeons and stuff. So you could bring like a fire unit into Wrath 10, possibly. Um, because with elemental defense, it'll be like he has advantage defensively and he'll be attacking with advantage, which is which is huge. So I wonder if I can find a, a team to work that out. So we we'll definitely have to look into that air shield guard. All right, that's all those. So let's grab the event rewards real quick. The book, summon, 150. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Then we'll take a break from those. We'll do the two large chests real quick. What do we got? What do we got? Anything good? Ooh, two purple glyphs and an orange. All right. Let's see. Attack, flat attack with with flat attack and percentage attack substats. Wow, that looks good. Another appeasement. We've got percentage attack with percentage attack and percentage HP. Ooh, and we've got flat attack with crit. Um, accuracy, defense, resistance. Hey, I'll take it. Purple flat attack. We are off to a good start. Actually, it looks like I might have a third one. I have enough keys for a third one. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, magical book, epic fragments, life steel glyph, flat defense, crit damage attack, attack, percentage defense. So it's kind of a mixed bag, but it is on uh, life steel, which is kind of good. I do have enough keys, and I don't believe you need the keys for anything else, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. And if not, oh well, you can correct me in the comments below if I completely made a major mistake, but what are we going to get? Purple. All right, more fragments. We're going, we'll go Meditation Glyph first, which is always good. Flat defense, attack, defense, and attack. All right, that's a good mix. Whoops, excuse me. And a Lifesteal Glyph with speed. hey -o. Accuracy, resistance, crit damage, so it could be good for a supporter unit, but um, hey, I'll take that. All right, let's go back to the soul stones here. Oh, see, we got enough fragments to get another summon in. So hey, we can't complain about that. All right, all right. Fire ghost, all right, on to the epic ones. 29 to go. What other lightning can we see? Fire Pixie. Anything good? Anything good? Fire Basilisk. I did not have the Fire Basilisk. So I now have all of the Basilisk. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll use them, but at least I've got them all at least. I just said at least twice. Earth Shield Guard. Griffin, not something I need. Come on, come on. Another fire ghost. Nope, another two star. Water imp. There is some talks. I have to look at the kit again um, about the water imp maybe being used in Wrath 10. I have to look at the skills again. Ooh, my first bright fawn. It's so an earth bright fawn. I forgot about them. Exile is immune to all negative effects for one turn, increases attack and defense. That is pretty cool. Attacks an enemy, inflicting great damage, and decreases their speed. Hey yo, I'll take that. I'll have to look into that. Bright Fawn, I did not have any of the fawns yet. So that that's good. I'll, I'll take the other ones as well. Alright, Fire Stone Guard. Mm -hmm. Air Sphinx. I kind of like the Earth Sphinx. It's the three-star one. Um, ooh, 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 lightning. Spirit Cub. All right, the Earth Spirit Cub. This is a healer, I know. Refills turn bar of all allies by 15% and increases their attack and critical damage for two turns. Sweet. Heals an ally by 30% of their max HP and casts a mail on them, reflecting 20 by so. It's like a thorn mail for two turns. Awesome. I will have to definitely look into him see what I can do because I am lacking I haven't really built any earth units uh, water ghost I have the basilisk it's a three star oh another lightning all right we got 
Kabuki Ninja. All right, so I have the Fire Kabuki Ninja, and I actually, I absolutely love it. It is a whole lot of fun to play with. I need better uh, glyphs for it, for crit rating stuff, but it is really fun, and I think it does pretty good damage, especially when it crits. So let me look at the water one here. Attacks all enemies with an attack increase based on one's speed, which is good. 40% chance of decreasing their speed. All right. It was all enemies, right? Increases the speed of an ally and amplifies incoming healing effects for two turns, then recovers the turn. So he can basically buff himself with speed, and he gets increased healing, then recovers the turn, and then boom, hits with demoralize on all enemies, which is based on speed. So I will be looking into his evolution effects and seeing how we can make take advantage of that. Definitely. He looks like a lot of fun. Air Jin. I have built the water and the fire one. They're both three-star max level. Uh, but we'll see. Water shield guard. Still looking for that first nav four. All right. Earth arcane bird. Anything? Anything? Another earth bright fawn. Okay. Thirteen more. Here we go. Lightning. Come on. Come on. Rune Sentinel. Earth Rune Sentinel. I'm not sure. Grants body shield to an ally. Makes self immune to harmful effects. Increases own defense. Attacks all enemies, inflicting moderate damage. Based on your own defense and chance of stun. Eh. Underwhelming. Underwhelming, but you want to save those three stars anyway. In case they get buffed at some time, they could turn into really good monsters. So. Fire Sphinx. Air, air Nymph, 10 more to go. Can we get at least one more lightning here? That would be nice. There we go, Air Sentinel. Not there, not there. Fire Harpy, so I wonder if I should build, I think this is the one that gains an attack if it kills an enemy. So it uses a farmer maybe, because um, I don't have the succubus. And I wonder if the Harpy would do well. I'll have to look into the stats and everything and see. I don't really have a great farmer right now, Earth Witch. Um, so that could be some because it should be speedy farming at least because as long as you're killing things. It's dropping fast. Fire Sentinel. Six more to go. Come on. One more lightning. One more lightning. Air Jin. Nothing. Alright. Five more. Or oh, that was five more. The air witch, that's not the bomb one, is it? Oh, that looks like a bomb one. It's a bomb on an enemy. Oh, single target is three turn. Interesting. So a single target bomber. Haven't seen a lot of those. I know it's five turns for AoE bombs, so. Three turns, that's a lot faster. I'll have to look into cooldown and stuff. Um, so I pair with my uh, water holy sister, who decreases cooldown down times by two turns, I think. Uh, might be able to plant bombs, at least two bombs out pretty quickly. I do know, a wow, a third Earth Bright Fawn. Um, I do know you cannot put multiple bombs, at least from the same person, on the same target. I would assume from different uh, creatures you can't either, because it's just a debuff. Um, but I know if you try to bomb someone more than once, if they, the bomb is still up there, it will just replace the timer, and it just starts back over five turns. So make sure you don't do that. That can be a bad thing. Um, but here we go. Two left, two left. Can I get a lightning? Not on that one. All right, we're going to hope this last one is good. Another air nymph. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Last one. Come on, lightning, lightning. I'm scared to push it. Another earth witch. Earth witch is around a lot. So we did... I forget the exact number of summons. Around 40, 47 it looks like. Based on the number of new creatures, it says, and we got one, two, three, four, five, five lightning out of 45. So I guess that's not too bad. Um, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that's better. That's better than one in 10. So I guess that's pretty good. Um, overall, I mean, I'm excited about the Spear Cub. Um, the Kappas, the Ninja, uh, all interesting things to look at. Let's look at um, evolution for him. Accuracy. 
So you can get the first one based on speed with a 40% chance of preventing enemy from receiving beneficial effects. That's really good. They both would make it so his first one with speed and then a 30% chance of putting the enemy to sleep for one turn. So my fire one has the sleep, uh, which can come in handy sometimes. It's pretty cool. But it makes them both based on speed. So that is definitely good. And with his, he synergizes well because he has a speed buff. And then his third one also scales with speed, unlike the fire one. Who isn't that way, I believe. Nope. But it does great damage, so it's really nice. And it has a defense down. Um, yeah, I know the, the glyphs are crap. I understand that. Um, but it's fun because I don't have a lot of fire units, so it would be fun to build. So who else would I say I was going to look at real quick? Um, it was one of the bombers. Who was it? It was a witch. A witch. Wind witch. Mm -hmm. I'll get there soon enough. There's the wind witch. All right, so it has a three turn cooldown. So basically, as soon as it would explode, it can be up, but. Chance of reducing resistance. Let's see what her evolve skills go into. Confuse and poison. So poison plus bombs. Interesting. I wonder how that would work. Because, like I said, with my uh, holy sister, you know, increase their speed, reduce the cooldowns by two turns. So literally, she could put the bomb. I could reduce the cooldowns, and then a turn later, put a second bomb on someone else. Huh, interesting. I will have to look into that. That's not for right now. I definitely need to get my Wrath team up and going. But I will go back to farming so I can try to get more of these summons so we can finish off this event. Um, and get that guaranteed 4 star and see how that goes. Let's see. What am I at? What am I at? 114. Alright. So 36 to go. I think I can farm 36 summons in the next 9 and a half days. If so, I will definitely record it, especially the guaranteed 4 star summon for y'all. And we can see what we get, and hopefully it'll be something great. But that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Mushbeard. I am out.